All right, Gab, on to the next question. Um, so this is from David Finney saying, um, as a slightly older player, I struggle with injury a lot and still a relative beginner. Is there some more organic way to play that doesn't leave the body so broken? I find I'm so keen to be physical in every ride off and sprinting for the ball only to have to stop and pivot quickly that my inexperience puts me in, in spots I'm struggling to recover from. Um, yeah, over to you, Gav. Okay, so if I go back to when we were playing, Juan Calitos Harriet was the Cambiasso of that day, and he was literally like Cambiasso is um, five goals better than the next 10 goal player. Um, his amazing comment was escort your player out of play. And if you really anticipate well enough and you do what we've been telling you in the ride offs, okay, where you've got the other player's head, um, the horse's head slightly in front of you, his body behind yours, and you put your knee on his horse's shoulder. There's no physicality in that. You don't have to come in and bash your horse. Because I find so often what's happening is guys come in to make these huge ride-offs. And remember, you are destroying your horse as much as you're destroying the horse that you're riding off. So, um, you know, if you just anticipate and, and get into good positions for your ride-offs, and the next point is that once you've made that ride-off, one of my big problems is when I'm watching Logo Polo, and especially when I'm playing in it and coaching, I find a beta player, okay, and when I've got them beaten, they're still trying to win that ride-off. And what happens is the horse's bit is crashing you all over the place. I now just take my mallet. And I keep it there and I will give their horse a, a, a book on the cheek to get its head away from me. I will not be bullied like that. And so often these guys that are trying so hard to win a negative play. And I keep saying, if you've beaten, you've got to think about how to get out of a negative situation and into a positive one. But they stay in this ride off and they push and push to a point that they slide back behind the, the horse, behind your horse. And it's the most dangerous thing in the world for them because they're going to cross their horse's feet as they do that. And it's in the rules that you actually may not do that. It's really dangerous. So number one, protect yourself from that head coming in. There's no reason you have to put up with it. Um, it's ungentlemanlike. It's not sporting. And in the rules, it's, you know, it talks about unsportsmanlike behavior. So um, just keep the, head of the horse's head away. And pretty soon, I mean, if they whinge and whine, just say, look, you're bashing me with your horse. I've beaten you in the ride off. Now, th the other thing is that if you are beaten, okay, don't go on doing that and trying to make that um, ride off from a negative situation. In the academy, we've talked about um, how to turn a negative into positive, And there are a whole lot of different ways one can do it is if you've beaten in a ride-off, just remember that if your horse is the one that has won the ride-off, it is actually resting while you're pushing it because you, your horse is pushing it along. Your horse is dying because it's pushing itself and the horse ahead of it. Um, and you, you're killing your horse's energy. So you make even a worse horse than yours a better horse because you're actually imparting energy to it. So um, get out of that ride-off. And some, just some ideas as to how you can change that negative into positive. If you're beaten in a ride-off, disengage by like a meter and now start to speed up. And you, if let's say you're on the right-hand side and you just start to drift um, to the right and you're speeding up, that player has to come with you or you will get your knee up because you're not now pushing from behind and you come back and make your ride-off. But if you are disengaging and dragging the man along, the ball, remember, is now on his left-hand side. So he's beaten you and he's coming along. He's having to watch you and the ball. There's going to come a time where he has to go back to play the ball. If he doesn't, you've dragged him out of play anyway. That's turned the negative into positive. So often you drag them so far out that when they go back, they're going to foul going back. That's negative into positive. And the next thing that you can do is watch their horse because when they turn to go back to the ball to play a near side backhand or an offside backhand, as their horse's momentum shifts away from you, that's when you make your ride off. Because now their momentum is away from you 
and you add your momentum to that and your horse is twice as good in that ride off and so often you will take that man over the ball if you're good enough sometimes you end up with it on your off side or your near side when you've made the ride off and you can play it but you time the ride off don't keep on in that negative situation so those for me are the the answers to that um i, I hope that answers the question no, i think that answered it pretty well gav